Hello, this is Edward Troxell, and in this video, we're going to talk about fade-ins and fade-outs. In Vegas, it's easy to fade an event in and out. All we have to do is hover over the edge and drag our cursor for the amount of the length of fade we want. If we want an exact fade, we can actually do that using a script, or we can just add any fade we want using a script. So we have our image here. If we want to fade in, then we can just drag this in for however far we want the fade in to be. So if we wanted to fade it for one second, there is a one second fade in. Likewise, if we want to fade out, we can do the same thing, get over the edge and drag it however far we want to drag it. If we wanted to do it for one and a half seconds, there's one and a half seconds. Now let's undo this and let's take a look at our script. This is the same script we were using last time. It will look for the first track then it will look for the first event on that track. Then we are changing that event to a video event, which we had to do when we were adding an effect. Technically, we don't have to do that to add a fade in. What we want to do is add event.fadein and dot length, and that will let us specify the length of the fade in. So here I've got it from seconds one, so it should add a one second fade in at the beginning. Then we can do an event dot fade out dot length, and then I have it from seconds 1.5, so it'll add a one and a half second fade out at the end. So let's run this, and here you will see that we have a one second fade in at the beginning, and back here we have a one second and 15 frames, so that's one and a half seconds fade out at the end. When we look at our clip, you'll notice that our opacity is 100%. If we slide this down, 0%, uh, of course, it is totally transparent. Then we can get somewhere in between and it'll be partially transparent. That is also easily adjustable using this method. So let's undo this. And we can come in and look at our fade in command. And one of the options for fade in is gain. If you'll notice, the type on gain is float, so we have to use this to convert our number to a float. The number that gain expects is somewhere between 0, which is totally transparent, and 1, which is 100%. So if we want it set to 75%, we would use 0.75. So in this case, I have it set to 0.75. Let's save this run it again. So now we have our fade out, we have our fade in, and now our opacity is set to 75%. When we look at our fade ins and fade outs, if we right click it and come up here to fade type, you will see there are several different fade types available. Right now this one happens to be set on this one, and the fade in happens to be set on the same one because that is the default fade type. But we can actually choose any of these others from the script. Let's see how to do that. To change the curve type, we have to go to event.fadein.curve, and then we can change the curve type to be some other type. I've set the fade in to a sharp, and then I've set the fade out to a slow. So the options are sharp, slow, none, linear, fast, and smooth. Those are all of the options that are available to us as the curve type. So let's see how it looks now that we have this set. And now you will see that our fade type is more curvy on this one. And it's really slow at going down on this one. So if we right click this one and choose fade type, you'll see now it's on this one right here, which is the slow. And then if we right click this one and look at the fade type, you'll see it is now set to the bottom one, which goes up quick, kind of pauses there in the middle, then goes up quick again. So as you can see, there's a lot of things we can do with just the fade in and the fade out. By using the fade-ins and the fade-outs, first of all, it's going to transition in, and we can 
determine how fast it's going to transition in by changing the curve type. We can also set the opacity level of the event by changing the fade in or the fade out gain property. Please sign up at www.jettv.com and subscribe on YouTube to get further notifications on when new videos are presented.